Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick look at my Hime nails. For these three, I did them all the same. The tips are white with a hot pink intricate design on the top, followed by some little rhinestones. And then the bottom color is a shimmery kind of pink. I'm sorry about the light, you can't really tell. And then this is a little purple flower. On this one is a light pink bubblegum kind of pink with little hearts and then a bow in the middle with a little gemstone in the center of that. And for the thumb it's just a simple hot pink bow with a gem in the middle and it also has the shimmery pink like these. Later on I'm going to show you all the colors I used for them and I just wanted to give you a quick look before they get completely messed up today at work. So I hope you all like them. Hopefully they give you some ideas of your own. And that's it. Hope you enjoy them. Bye guys. Also if you have any other um, kind of requests or ideas for me, just please you can inbox them to me or however you like and let me know. Thanks guys. Love you. Bye. Okay so here are the colors I used for my Hime nails. I started out with a base coat for all of the nails. And then for the pinky, ring finger, and index finger, I follow up by putting on a pink tint. It's more of a tint for the nail instead of an actual color because it just gives the nail a pinkish hue. And then once that was dry, I put on the shimmery pink color. It's called Pink Glass. And then while that's still wet, you can put on the purple flowers. And then once all that is dry, you can go ahead and draw on the line used to outline the tip of the nail for the white tip and then you can go ahead and fill it in when that's done and then you want to take the hot pink and just add the little intricate designs and you can see the tip of it and add the little intricate designs you can do it however you want I just use little swirls and dots for mine And you can go back over once the white and the hot pink is dry and go back over them with a little of the top coat and put a little line around the base of the white tip and then place your rhinestones. Here's some right there. Your little rhinestones. Then for the middle finger, I used the pastel pink. And that's the name of it, Pastel Pink. And just put that on there. And then I use the white to make the flower, I mean not the flower, to make the bow. And use the same rhinestones for the middle. And I use the little hearts in my little disc here. There they are. I use the little hearts to place. Or you can use whatever you want. You can always make it your own. This is just a, like an idea that I'm giving to you. But if you like it, feel free to use it. I would love for you guys to use it and post videos of it if you want to on my page. And for the thumb, I once again use the the pink hue and the shimmery pink. And then just went over it once it was dry with the hot pink and made the bow shape. And then put a little rhinestone in the middle. And then after all those were dry, I simply sealed them up with my top coat to seal in all of my designs and my rhinestones and jemmy thingies. And I was really surprised by actually how long they lasted. They did really well. They lasted for like two weeks and they still look great. My thumbs are kind of beat up, if you can see. But they still look in really good shape. So if you don't have a really strenuous job that I do in retail and your nails get banged up and everything, then they'll last you a really long time. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed them. I love you guys. See you later.